let us assume that the demand function is P is equal to A minus BQ. P is equal to <clears throat> A minus BQ. So I'll first of all find out the TR function. TR is P into Q. A minus BQ into Q which is aq minus bq square. <clears throat> what is the MR? MR is tr by dq. Right? So, what do you get? a minus 2bq. Let us just uh, put this this here you have P M R. So let's draw the demand function first. <clears throat> so you have uh, P Q as A minus B Q. So when Q is zero, P is A. When P is zero, Q is A by B. Hmm? So when Q is 0, P is A. And uh, when P is 0, Q is A by B. Hmm? And then you have the MR function. Let's draw that also. MRQ is what? A minus 2BQ. Oh. When P is 0, right? Uh, what is your, not P is 0. You should rather write MR and Q. And Q, right? So when Q is 0, MR is A. When MR is 0, Q is A by 2B. A by 2B. This is what the MR function. So here you have the demand function, which is the AR function. And here you have the MR function, which is uh, this guy. There are two things. Two things about the MR function. First, first thing about the MR function is that you can see that the MR is lying below the AR curve, below the demand curve. MR lies below the demand curve. <clears throat> hmm. MR lies below the demand curve. So you have what? Guys, you remember from your earlier uh, lecture now that MR is equal to PQ plus del PQ by del Q into Q. You have derived that earlier in the last class. If you haven't seen that recording, please do that. So can I write that? MR is equal to PQ plus del PQ by del Q into Q, right? What we are saying is <clears throat> for MR to lie below the demand curve, this MR should be less than or equal to P. Hmm? For MR to lie Below the demand curve, MR should be less than or equal to P. <clears throat> so if you just solve this, you'll be getting what? This 
thing will get cancelled out right uh, and uh, del p by del q you have already seen that this is negative right uh, so please write because kyo jaise jaise output badega jo demanded jo, jo logo ki jo willingness to pay hai to pay for that output that is going to fall del p by del q is negative because demand curve demand curve pq decreases in output q right so del pq by del q is less than equal to zero. This condition we have already told. हमने पिछली बार की क्लास के अंदर भी we have told this that when your monopolist wants to sell more units of output, it will have to reduce the price. So the willingness to pay of the consumers that is going to fall. So del P by del Q is going to be negative. So del P by del Q into Q should be less than equal to zero. right should be less than equal to zero it must hold to agar ye hold karta hai to bhaiya ye condition to ho gayi na satisfied That's right therefore this implies what mr is less than equal to p mr is less than equal to p you can also write it properly mr q is less than equal to pq <clears throat> as required as required pehli baat to ye dusri baat you can see this that mr and the demand curve they are originating at the same height so the mr function and the demand function they are originating at the same height huh? so please write this mr q and the demand curve originate at the same height at the same height dekh rahe ho aap log right so at q equals to 0 what is your p that is a right uh, at q equals to 0 what is the mr MR is equal to A minus to zero, which is A, right? So graphically, both of them are emerging at A. So demand, uh, the, the height is going to be same. So they are emerging from this particular point A, right? And then your uh, text says that uh, assuming you have the same demand function, <clears throat> assuming the total cost function is C into Q. Right? So you can find out the uh, profits. Profits are what? Revenue minus cost. Revenue is what? P into Q. Cost is what? C into Q. What is P? A minus BQ into Q minus CQ, right? So 
This guy is what? Total revenue. This guy is what? Total cost. And then you can differentiate this with respect to Q. Hmm. So I can differentiate this with respect to Q. And I'll be getting what? Pi dash Q. Uh, so you can just differentiate this. Can you just uh, uh, write it nicely? That is uh, uh, like this. It's easier than AQ minus BQ square minus CQ. So pi dash Q is A minus 2BQ minus C equals to 0. If you uh, A minus 2BQ equals to C. And what is it that you have found out as A minus 2BQ? Kya tha A minus 2BQ? MR. Or beta, if TC is C into Q, what is MC then? DTC by DQ, that is C. So, ye kya is C? Uh, MC. So, at equilibrium, your MR is equal to MC. At equilibrium, MR is equal to MC. So, A minus 2BQ is equal to C. A minus C equals to 2BQ. Your Q is equal to A minus C upon 2B. And you call this as QM. That is the monopolist output. That is the monopolist output. Hmm? What is the price? By demand function kya tha? A minus BQ. At Q equals to QM. What is the price? A minus B. In place of QM, you guys can write A minus C upon 2B. Mm -hmm. A minus C upon 2B. And once you'll solve this, you'll be getting it as... Uh, uh, a plus C upon 2. A plus C upon 2. You with me? Uh, a plus C upon 2. So this is what my this is what my uh, monopoly price is. Right? Okay. What are the monopoly profits? Revenue monopolist revenue is PM into QM minus monopolist cost is C into QM. So basically, it is what PM minus C into QM. So uh, PM is what A plus C upon 2 minus C into QM. QM is what? A minus C upon 2. A minus C upon 2. You with me? So, I think it should be 2B, na? The 2B hai. Yeah. Are you kya ho ki? A plus C minus 2C. So, it is what? A minus C upon 2 into A minus C upon 2. To be. So the monopolist profits will come out to be A minus C ka whole square upon 4B. A minus C ka whole square upon 4B. You with me? Hmm? That is what the monopolist profit is. That is what the monopolist profit is. So can we just draw this thing here? Let's say this is what my cost is. MC, C. Right, that is MC. And MR equals to MC at this particular point. And what is the, what is Q which you are producing? This is QM, na? which you have found out A minus C upon 2B. 
and this guy is the monopolist price. This guy is the monopolist price. So, beta, what is the consumer surplus if I have to find this out? Uh, in this particular case, what is the consumer surplus, this guy? This is the consumer surplus, right? A minus PM into QM minus zero. This is what the consumer surplus. So can I just copy this there? So if I have to find out the consumer surplus, this half into this area of this triangle, right? That is A minus PM into QM minus zero. To QM minus zero. So beta, uh, what is your PM? PM is, I think, A plus C upon T. This is the monopolist price. Yeah, na? This is the base of the triangle. This is the height of the triangle. So, ye QM kitna hai? Iski height kya hai bata? Ye wali ye height hai? QM minus 0. QM kitna hai? A minus C upon 2B, I guess, yeah? C upon 2B. And this thing will give you C ka whole square upon 8B. A minus C ka whole square upon 8B. So this is what the consumer surplus under monopolist is. So how do you find out the area of the triangle? So this is the triangle, let's say. So this is the base, this is height. So 1 by 2 into B into H. So that's what you've done. So this is the consumer surplus. So for this Particular question we have found out what is the uh, monopolist price, monopolist quantity, monopolist profit, and consumer surplus for the monopolist, right? So I hope you are making notes side by side. Hmm? Thank you, Vita.